kan. We have that Vincent Rowe. We have Dr. Vincent, Vincent Rowe with us, a professor with us in Lisbon. Welcome to Lisbon. And uh, it's a pleasure to have uh, such a celebrated uh, scientists with us. And uh, he's come to talk to us about uh, post-traumatic stress related uh, particularly to abortion. Can you tell us something about it? Yes, uh, we've been looking at abortion for 26 years as it has a an impact on women and men and what we've determined is that uh, abortion is a traumatic experience because it is a human death intentionally caused um, experience. Uh, abortion can create PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, because it is beyond the normal scope of human functioning to terminate the life of their child. It's an intentionally caused death and as such um, visits upon the women and the men that participate, unwanted re-experiencing of the abortion, as well as symptoms of avoidance and um, denial. In addition, uh, there are many other associated factors that go along with post-traumatic stress disorder, and those include um, fetal nightmares, uh, unconsolable uh, crying and grief reactions. There's substance use and abuse. Um, difficulty in relationships, tremendous survivor guilt. All of these things can uh, get together and basically disable individuals from their normal functioning in life. The definition was actually made by you uh, many years ago. It was the first uh, breaking news on the subject. That's right. It's, it's old news, but it's in 1981 I developed this and presented the, the diagnostic criteria before the U.S. Congress and uh, talked about the impact of abortion um, on the individual as a traumatic episode, and then also on the effect on family life. So, um, and it was modeled after the American Psychiatric Association's uh, post-traumatic stress disorder category. Do you find that it's important for a woman that uh, uh, is considering abortion to know this, these things? Yes, I think it's very important for women in making any medical decision to be fully informed. And the research that um, I have done, Dr. Coleman and others, has consistently shown that women want more information, not less information. And they want accurate information, not information that has a political spin to it, but accurate medical scientific information that's useful in, in looking at the risks and benefits of treatment or non-treatment. Thank you very much. Thank you.